Start. Start, sir. Hi, students. I'm Pavan Jaiswal, an aptitude trainer from BrainWiz. Today, we are going to see a question from a topic called Direction Sense. This question earlier asked in the GATE examination of 2017. And all the students who are the GATE aspirants, they can view this question and they can understand a basic question which was asked. He told that Fatima starts from point P, goes north for 3 km and then she turns towards the east for 4 km to reach the point Q. And in that direction when she went, again she then goes towards the north for 6 km. I repeat once again the question. <coughs> Hi students, I am Pavan Jaiswal. Let's try to see a question from Direction Sense. This question was earlier asked in the gate examination. In this question he said that Fatima starts from point P, goes north for 3 km and then she turns towards the east for 4 km to reach a point called Q. You can see the question very clearly. She then turns to face the point P and straight away came towards 15 km in that direction. Again finally she then goes towards the north 6 km. How far is she point from point P and in which direction should she go to reach the point P? So it was asked in gate 2017 in the ECE branch. So let's try to see the basic of our direction sense. Yes, let's try to see here. This is said to be east. This is said to be west. Now this is said to be south. Okay, this completely said to be south and this is said to be north. And this we call as a northeast. This is said to be northwest. This is southeast. This is southwest. So students, these are the four main directions and these are the four sub directions. And in this question, he asks you, Fatima is a girl. In this question, he asks you that Fatima is a girl. She is standing at point P. From point P, she is going 3 kilometers towards north. So let's try to have a look here. From point P, she is going 3 kilometers towards north. After she has reached 3 kilometers, she has taken a right turn towards the east, traveling 4 kilometers. And she has reached the point Q. So this is the way the Fatima have traveled. She went 3 kilometers towards the north and taken a right turn and she have reached 4 kilometers towards the east and she have got a point Q. Again what she has done is she started walking in the direction towards P and covered 15 km. So this is what she has done. She have traveled 15 km towards P. Are you understanding? And after traveling 15 km towards P, she have gone 6 km towards north. So, and this is the final position of Fatima. We have to find out in which direction she should go to reach the point P and what is this distance. So diagram says that she has to travel towards the east direction in order to reach the point P. Is that fine? So let me just try to tell you that we understand this three, we understand this four, but this 15 we cannot understand because till where that 15 should travel, we have no idea. Okay. And let me just try to tell you, this looks like a Pythagoras theorem in which we have one of the side as 3 and one of the side as 4. Okay. Now, we can find out this hypotenuse by a square plus b square which makes hypotenuse that is c square. We have no idea what is the c value. So, a value which is given that is 3 square, b value that is given that is 4 square. And c square is the thing we have no idea which makes 9 plus 16 c square c is equal to under root 25 c value is 5. So we understand that Fatima is coming in this direction 15 kilometer and this length from here to here stands for 5. So we have to break down this 15 kilometer into two pieces the piece from here to here and the piece from here to here. So this we have got it as 5. 
So you know that this total is 15. In that, this is 5 and the rest of the things we should assume that is 10. So 5 cross and 10 cross makes total 15 cross. I think you're understanding this cross length. Now, again, you have to see the imaginary line. She have to travel in this direction. So which direction she should travel so that she can move towards the point P. So we can say that, as you know, I have explained you that this is right. She had to travel in the east direction. And how far? You have to just try to find out how far she should travel. Okay. So dear students, we have broken this cross length into two pieces. One, a piece of five and the other, the piece of ten. Again, let's try to see this Pythagoras theorem. In this Pythagoras theorem, this is looking like a right angle triangle. In this, this is a base, this is a height and this is a hypotenuse. Let's try to find out here, same fashion. Here, 6 is given and the longest side of this triangle that is 10 is given and we have to find out the other. So let's try to put this Pythagoras theorem. In this one of the A value is given that is 6, 6 square plus B value is not known to us. We are supposed to find out this B but unlike here, here hypotenuse is given that is 10, 10 square. I think you all people are understanding this question. That's great. Now, this is 36 plus b square, which makes 100. So b square is equal to 100 minus 36 makes 64. Now, the b value is root 64, that is 8. So we can understand that the missing length is 8. So Fatima, from here, if she wants to go to the point P, she had to travel 8 kilometer. Dear students, we can see the option first one that is 8 km towards the east. So you have more questions on gate. So the people who are preparing for gate examination, they can plan these kind of questions and they can watch our videos regularly so that you'll get more and more updates. Okay. So for more, just download our app BrainWiz in the Play Store or else you can log on to our website or you can also subscribe our YouTube channel to get more updates. Thank you.